Okay, so what we're gonna do in this video is gonna talk about how to stop hitting at the golf ball, which is one of the biggest problems that I see with most amateur golfers, and start to give you that sort of more effortless feeling of just swinging the club through, which will bring you amazing results. But personally speaking, I think most golfers that I meet that are right-handed are also right-hand dominant, and that can potentially sometimes cause a little bit of an issue. And the reason why that causes an issue is because most golfers wanna try and hit the golf ball with that trail hand, and then therefore there's a lot of consciousness of sort of trying to straighten this arm at the ball, and they kind of get too stuck and then become more fixated and just trying to hit at the golf ball. And what I tend to do, which brings really good success, is I try to switch that around, okay? So when we think about the golf swing, particularly with the rotation, as I sort of take my posture, because we're sort of rotating around our spine, this is going to kind of produce like a tilt, which basically means in the backswing, my left shoulder is going to go down, and in the downswing, my right shoulder is going to go down. And it's funny, actually, because if you kind of switch your emphasis between those two things, particularly the downswing, so if you sort of think about right shoulder down, you'll feel quite sort of low to the ground, okay? But if you actually think about putting the emphasis on your left shoulder up, you'll actually be quite surprised the way you can change your perception. You actually feel quite upward. And that's the way that we want to go about this. So what we don't want to do is we don't want to be thinking about hitting down at the golf ball. I, I don't personally think that's the right thing to be thinking about. I'm a big believer that in the backswing, you want to think about your trail side going back. And in the downswing, you want to sort of think about your trail, uh, your lead side swinging through. Uh, this is what I mean by this is if you were sort of, I don't know, imagine you're the old lawnmower and you have to pull the cord to get going. You would really think about sort of using that trail side to retract it back. You wouldn't think about your lead shoulder going, you know, down. Do you see what I mean? It's kind of like trying to understand that that functionality really rules. And that's the big difference if you're trying to stop hitting at the golf ball. We need to get you swinging through. So if I go back to the exercise where I just put the club across my shoulders and we're trying to focus on obviously backswing but in the through swing. So I'm now thinking about left shoulder back behind my head as I sort of swing through. So I'm still keeping my head still and theoretically you can interpret this however you like but my lead shoulder now is going back up and behind my head now theoretically why is that so important well it's important because in that downswing position when we start the downswing we need to really make sure that we are rotating so i'm moving both my pelvis and my chest towards the target whilst i'm shifting weight pressure on towards that lead side so it's a real rotational motion. So as I start this downswing, that's what's happening. Now, as we come in towards this hitting area, what's important is that I continue that sort of feeling of rotation. So I continue to move both my chest and my lower body towards the target. And the reason for that is because as I continue to rotate, my lead shoulder continues to progress around from my body, like so. And as I continue to rotate, what happens is that my hand starts to go up. And what you'll naturally find is when the hand starts to go up, the club will go down and you'll no longer feel like you're hitting at the golf ball. You'll actually get more of a sense that you're sort of sweeping up and through the golf ball. And that's kind of like the ultimate holy grail feel. I talked about this a lot recently. If you want to become a better ball striker, you need to be able to produce less loft. OK, so that means hands forward and a sort of, you know, relatively neutral, if not slightly downward angle of attack. What we don't want to do is sort of feel like you're adding loft and really chopping down. We kind of want to feel like it's less loft as we're hitting more up on the ball. And the way you're going to do that is by fundamentally understanding left shoulder back, which in your left shoulder moves back as a byproduct of your pelvis and your chest to continue to rotate towards the target. And that's going to give us that sort of feeling of real sweeping up on the ball. And the benefit of this type of exercise is it doesn't actually have to be all that complicated. See, what you can do is you can actually just get yourself a bit of rope. Now, I was actually originally introduced this exercise many years ago, but particularly over the last sort of 12 to 18 months, there was a golf biomechanist on YouTube called Dr. Kwan who reinvigorated my inspiration again behind this. And I love it because it's really simple concept. What you want to do is you want to get yourself a bit of rope, roughly the diameter of a golf club about two two and a half feet in length the idea is very simple first of all just swing this around the side of your body similar to what i'm demonstrating here now what you can then do is you can work on this in a sequencing exercise so in the back swing i'm going to let the rope sit on my back i am then going to initiate my downswing by moving both my uh, chest and pelvis towards the target you can see the effect that that has on my shoulder and then once i've started like so then I can propel my arm off. So it's back, turn, throw. Back, turn, release, yeah? Turn, release. And it's gonna feel, when you do this exercise, it's gonna feel like a very upward sweeping sensation. Not this. That's the thing we don't want. That's the thing we want. Rotate through, 
similar like so. And if you want to do that, fantastic. If you don't want to do that, then you can get that same sort of feedback by turning the club upside down, take the weight out of the club. And again, chest, arms, chest, arms, chest, arms. And this will just make a massive, massive difference. So if you are somebody who is hitting fundamentally at the golf ball, what I'm trying to suggest is what you really need to do is you need to change your perspective. And what you want to do is you want to get more of a feeling that the handle of the club is moving up like so, not down and like so, up and like so. Now the way you're going to get the handle to move this way is very much a byproduct of your rotation. So as I rotate my chest and my lower body towards the target, that means that my shoulder will continue to go up, which in fact is going to pull the handle up, which is going to give me the ability to hit the golf ball more like so, as opposed to like so. Practice with the rope, turn the club upside down, it's a real simple thing that you can do. You'll be absolutely surprised by the results and how much easier it can all be. See you guys again really soon.